you know, for years I've talked about aspartame. And I've always I've told people for years not to use it. Let me tell you why aspartame is so bad for you. Aspartame is made out of three particular compounds. They use aspartic acid, they use phenylalanine, and they use methanol, also known as wood alcohol, also known as paint thinner to make this product. It was originally developed back in the early, early 70s when a chemist accidentally spent, spilled some compounds on his table, licked his finger to pick up some paper, and his fingers were sweet. Now, I'm a chemist. That was stupid. I've never done that. We were always taught never to put stuff in your mouth that you didn't know what it was. This dummy found out something was sweet on his mouth, so he went back and analyzed what he had done. He mixed phenylalanine, aspartic acid, and paint thinner together, which is methanol, and basically said, oh, wow, it's sweet. Well, they tried to get it approved through the Food and Drug Administration, but the problem is it caused cancer like everything they tested it on. Brain tumors, brain cancer, seizures, headaches, optic nerve degradation. It made people go blind. You can't drink paint thinner, okay? Paint thinner's bad. Paint thinner cannot be made non-poisonous, and they tried to tell these guys who were trying to market this product, don't use aspartame, don't use paint thinner, but nobody wanted to listen. And so what ended up happening through a series of games they played, I got this entire thing listed on my, on, online on my website, healthmasters.com. You can read the entire chapter I wrote in my Maximum Energy book on this. They basically got the Food and Drug Administration to approve it, which was completely against the Laney Amendment that had been passed in the 70s that forbid the introduction of anything into the food supply that had been shown to cause cancer. In one study, every single monkey they tested on developed grand mal epileptic seizures. In other studies, they were eating holes in the brains of the laboratory animals. Aspartic acid eats holes in your brain. Phenylalanine causes permanent nerve and brain damage in anybody with high enough concentrations. And methanol is a neurological poison because it's paint thinner that cannot be made unpoisonous. It also causes blindness. So that's what the constituents of aspartame are. I have seen people go blind. I've seen people need brain surgery. I've seen, I've seen multiple people die of brain cancer. Let me tell you one other thing about aspartame. If you mix aspartame with sodium nitrite, which is a coloring agent and a food preservative used in luncheon meats, all luncheon meat that you buy in the grocery store, unless it says no sodium nitrite or it's not on the label, contains all lunch meat contains sodium nitrite. When you mix aspartame and sodium nitrite together, those two compounds go together and form what's called a dichetiopeperazine in neurochemistry. That dichetiopeperazine degrades to form what's called a nitrosurea. And nitrosureas are the most effective agent known to man for producing malignant brain tumors in laboratory animals. In other words, if you want a rat to get brain cancer, you give it a nitrosurea or a pepperoni pizza and a diet soda. It gets the same effect. I've had two of my friends now die of brain cancer because of aspartame. It's something you simply can't put into your body in any concentrations. It cannot be made non-poisonous. Now, some people have a higher tolerance for it than other people, but the reality is it's a deadly poison. It should never be put into your body, and it should never, ever be used by anybody at any time. No sodas at all because sodas contain a compound that's very, very acidic and it actually dissolves bones, and no, no diet sodas at all because it not only dissolves bones, but it gives you brain cancer. So stay away from aspartame. You stevia instead. Much better alternative, much healthier sweetener.